Still going in, Arlot uses his ultimate and oh! Lord is being stealed by the Aurora. Perfect ultimate from the Arlot here to prevent, to prevent from the retribution. Wow, he's trying so hard to win this game. I mean, that was such a clutch final slash to displace um, Cal Teasy there. And then the, the uh, what is it, the Frigid Glacier just to secure the Lord. That was kind of the breathing room. Twisted Minds needed here. And uh, I mean, even at that, we can kind of see that uh, the carry's coming online and the Aurora's mm -hmm. coming online. And I mean, this this is what they need. They just need to not get too overzealous here and utilize this Lord to the as oh, much as they possibly can look, look where wave being farmed by the ap brand like not even close <laughs> the wave <laughs> died like even not even reached the mid lane of the map so one thing is to take the lord and second thing is to use it so how twisted might go into use fanny without purple buff i don't think she's going to be able to do something here yeah i mean <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I had a sneeze oh, there. You. Yeah, this is, um, this is, I mean, uh, again, they have to utilize it. What a final slash! And the Frigid Glacier once oh. again playing a clutch role into Twisted Minds comp here. AP Bryn down Flop TZ. Now they can utilize this little bit of time. Morrow did fall during that engage, though. Yeah, and almost have it almost fall as well. Didn't get enough focus and purify. Probably was a big deal in that fight. We can see it again. CC working on two targets and two targets being charged by the Grok and the three triple people <laughs> triple people ultimate like again this is a combo <laughs> like uh, the Phantom Slash plus Aurora ultimate on top of that doing a lot of damage. Yeah, most definitely. And it was it was tough. It was tough for him. Kind of looking at some of the items. We do see boots being sold um, and full builds being built. I think what we have to really watch out for is Twisted Minds. Morrow on this R lot. And then the combination of Cuff. Um, it's just been nasty. Um, AP Bryn controlling a lot of uh, that mid game. But Twisted Minds still fighting for their spot yeah they are indeed and uh, but now uh, yet again lord is going to spawn in 15 seconds and looks like ap brand are having much better uh, map control for this lord oh oh my god a wall charge to stop fanny immortality bought maybe not in time the winter trench Oof. also can twisted mind come in as the freezer glacier comes in under the grok they are going to be able to secure the kill there but is that going to be enough as they did lose fanny the retry now i mean last time they didn't need a retry uh to secure this here and we can see morrow on the hunt once again twisted minds wanting to take another lord yeah it's probably going to happen because like again, but trying to do something here at Twisted Minds, like half HP already lost on the Barats here. And again, second skill from the Innovaria zoning out all of ah. the team. Maybe purple buff is and again, not being able to be farmed by the Fanny and the Nolan takes it. And uh, this is going to be yet another attempt of destroying the crystals of Twisted Minds. 
Yeah, uh, and then again, everybody looks like they'll be back and fully loaded on uh, this assault AP Brent's gonna have. Now, the one thing that I can say is they didn't have <laughs> the split push capability that they've been utilizing. They did try to catch Navaria there, but AP Brynn looking to end it with this Lord push here as Fanny's being pressured hard. Can they mount this defense? Floptizi on the left side. Minions are falling. Lord died. Ooh, Look at the Fanny, the, the wall charge to secure it. Ooh, Two of the counter attack on Navaria being boosted down by the Aurora, and Nolan is dead as well. Nobody follows the Grok kills though, and that's a yet again defense for these twisted minds. Only one person down, which is Fanny, which is kind of traditional for this game already, uh, sadly. But the counter attack is so big. Look at this damage. Just, just look at this damage. Like Novaria with the shield running around, going slightly pleasure. further and being slashed in into the stun into the CC chain, mm -hmm. which is insane. And uh, yeah, burst it down. Like nice counter attack. And nice. now five, four versus three is going to be attempt of the counter attack. They're gonna attempt to try to end this here. They're pushing all mid the last. I feel like this is like what Twisted Minds needs to do is to apply this pressure, but the minions just are not there. Second wave coming in. Can they find an engage here? Or can they take a tower? AP Brynn able to respond very well. They're gonna come in for their own assault now. The aggression, the Frisier Glacier to freeze AP Brynn and slow them down a little bit. I'm not sure if we have a conceal play that can happen. Again, AP Brynn trying to stop that assault and played a good role here. Look at the fanny. What is going, are they gonna be able to get to Kyle TZ here? No, oh, hopefully, oh yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a comeback for the Fanny in terms of 1v1 <laughs> jungle versus jungle. Not greedy with the red buff though, and uh, almost actually hit it by the second skill of the Novaria, which didn't quite, probably had a cooldown actually. The slow-mo, I love the slow-mo action right there. Uh, it was with purple buff, sorry. I thought it was without purple buff. Yeah, I mean, that was a, a great secure. Yeah, right? Because it's like Kyle Teezy's now down 40 seconds. The Lord's up. But the biggest thing that we have to watch out for is that the base could be wide open here as minions are Ooh. coming in. Twisted Minds attempting to, to take a play here. Look at the flicker in You're and the Daytona's welcome. They the want second... more AP Brynn. Super Marco falls to Twisted Minds. Do they opt to back out and go for the Lord, but Flopteezy, the wall, the wall, not going to let them escape, and they're going to re-engage here. Twisted Minds looking for Pew, Immortality has popped. Morrow in there, the back followed, line, though. but nobody followed up. Morrow maybe going to be able to, oh, he's oh, able to get on, away from Harry, Flopteezy get there. That. Should get that. To... Don't want to risk, I understand oh, the Don't want to risk, but the... Follow Flop up with the, the wild, wild charge, charge on the on the <laughs> on the guy and just killed it and the attack is kinda oh. like counter attack on, on top of counter attack and yet again the damage here and this freeze is pre used so good but not enough and a lot of kills but base is being pushed soon. Ah but minions gonna spawn in just in second going to defend it and four versus two potentially here gotta go for it probably gotta go for just the mid lane maybe yeah i mean we can see i i i believe what was going on here is that just the the fanny's not being able to be in those team fights and everybody is so low flop tz putting on a lot of pressure on tomorrow here does look like cuffin and Sano coming in. They want the Lord this time around as Kaltizi is still gone. Again, the pressure on the map is still there. Twisted Minds still fighting for some type of presence into the Land of Dawn in this river here. This fight is they just too much go. for him. Look at they the flank. Look go. at the flank. Oh, the damage though. The damage on the both sides is insane. Stan used to use 
purify and uh, survive from this insane wombo combo we been seen through this game all the time which is double ultimate and attack on the aurora though from the harriet and trying to reverse this three versus five oh. potentially <laughs> working out for ap brand so good yeah i mean ap brand holding their own a little bit of a conceal play here they're gonna opt to get that blue buff kind of stop fanny from being able to scale here again I don't know what was going on on Twisted Mind's mind at this point. Like, they, it seemed like they were a little bit confused on what they wanted to do here. And I think that was mainly just because AP Brand will not give up that river. They are completely controlling that mid bush. Even with Cal TZ gone, you can kind of see that. Ooh. Uh, Zoda there trying to find some type of blue buff for themselves. Yeah, yeah, and or kill all of the enemy jungler actually, no one, which is like could possibly go, but uh, yes, as just as I thought, uh, there are three t main targets no one, uh, Aurora and Harriet for, for the Twisted Minds, and that's exactly what they are doing. Yeah, and we can see now that Twisted Minds have lost access to this Lord, a little bit of a reset by Kaltizi here. But it's still not enough. They just won't give it up. Ooh, and we see charge the wild stun. charge on Zoda. Oh, and the ultimate on top of that. Not being able to do at least something except of the feeding on the Lord. Lord, though, if for 12k HP, might possibly go. And the good read oh. from Nolan of this flicker. Just use the second skill to go back. And there's two down for the Twisted Minds and the Lord for conceal the AP Bren as well. And the Conceal play again. Uh, completely spotted by the Arlot trying to go out. Survive pretty Jeez. good wall and a jump on the minions. Gonna pop the Immortality here. Wild Charge on top just for the kill. And this might be the game game number one for the ap brand but it's too early to judge but actually i guess i guess not only carry survived and no miracle plays 30 minute match against ap brand twisted minds losing that game one ap brand versus twisted minds match point leaning into the favor of ap brand can twisted minds show the aggression that they showed last game against ap yeah i guess at least they going to try rock is going straight away for the blue buff here attempt of stealing and uh, not hesitating with using her retribution and starting to harass grok actually a lot of misses coming out from fanny and uh, resulting grok not using absolutely anything and just go back and now the pressure going to be applied on the orange buff yeah i would say this time around right they they again picking up the fanny what the Twisted Minds is wild. You know, I didn't catch this at first, but putting a Martis in the EXP lane, it seems Ooh. like the EXP lane is just a, a wild go this time around for, for Twisted Minds. Yeah, so AP Brand understood. They got, they are the one who got a pressure. They said, like, you want to play this game? Let's play this game. And go, went straight for to pressure Twisted Minds, which already resulting almost like 1k gold advantage second minute into the game mm -hmm. I, I again we i think we've seen a little bit of this presence last game right ap brain able to utilize it but a violent requiem able to secure the kill on the fanny first blood ap brin this nerf on the fanny went so hard on the hoda here and uh, he just died And the turtle is probably going to go for the AP brand as a bonus kill. No level 4 on the Minotaur here. Uh, Kyle Tizzy get the turtle double ultimate from the Grok. Wild Charge stunning two people immediately bursting down the Minotaur. Purple Path being farmed by the Fanny going straight to the base to regen some of her face and uh, going to the orange buff is gonna spawn in five seconds and the typical rotation but no level four yet for fanny fanny is so far behind two 
20k gold lead already for the AP brand. That's a lot. And Grok, even Grok has one level advantage on the Fanny. Keep keep pressuring, dodging that stuns with the first skill, trying to go back using that a little arrow to for his advantage and continue with the pressure and probably gonna My use gosh. his ult again uses ult and uh, trying to follow up on the on the purple buff but not risking it all trying i i thought maybe kyle tizzy going to st stack his uh, stacks and ult on funny but uh, decided to just retreat Look at this pressure that they are just applying. I feel like Twisted Minds, their win condition here is the they need to alleviate this pressure that AP Brin is putting on uh, the Fanny in the jungle, right? The, the Grok is just a, an ever nuisance problem for Twisted Minds. They don't, again, don't have that displacement that they can just like kind of sweep AP Brin into a situation. We can sign to see Morrow is going to have to oh, return, but gets... He gets interrupted. Yeah, I actually thought Supermarket was going to secure that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here. thinking, like, why are you TPing? Because they are. They can see you clearly after that hit of the second skill of Novaria. Yeah, I think he was just, like, you know, committing it. Like, ah, you ain't going to do anything. But uh, Supermarco definitely uh, committed there. Now, AP Brim. I feel like they just need... They keep applying this pressure, right? Like, keep controlling the map. Vision is constantly coming from um, the Grok at this point. Look, wild charge on tomorrow. Not much they could do. Flicker had to be utilized. That's a good go because now the turtle is just going to be falling into the hands of AP Brin. And then look, <laughs> what are they going to do? They're Yet just again, the pressure. The this is, is this real. is something I see from Super Shark in North America. It's just like the presence of the the roam just always in your jungle is annoying. Oh. Yeah, and the big part of it is uh, enemy team not being able to burst you down. I mean, you want to do this actually like every game, but not every game enemy will kind of not have the damage to... Uh, force burst you down and the burst down uh, talking about burst down the minotaur gets bursted down yet again so the damage difference like uh, so the roamer from twisted minds trying to go in and he just being targeted and the when the roamer of ap brand which is grog going in and he's not being able to I mean, they are not being able to burst him down and he rotate freely. I mean, if you want to waste time useless hitting Grok, I mean, you're welcome. Yeah, so it's a and hard I spot mean, for Twisted Minds. It, it seems like AP Brim's or Brim is warmed up at this point. Yeah, they absolutely warmed up at this point because they. 100% understood the gameplay of the Twisted Minds and they are doing the exact right decisions what they should do. Marty is gonna go for try to kill for the Grog but not enough range for ultimate. Gleenweir here forces to use her ultimate just to survive here and surviving on these 500 HP and the yo-yo gonna hit the Maro of the Twisted Minds and uh, finish him off and the pressure is still applied by the both lanes and soon is going to be a mid lane as well. Definitely. I mean, their AP Brin's just going to be pushing this mid lane and I'm not quite sure there's much Twisted Minds can do as they are controlling that. Turtle is up in about seven seconds, but you can already see they're not going to let up on this jungle. AP Brin not giving Twisted Minds any room to breathe this time around. Yeah, this is uh, like the, the, they got angry. They got angry from the previous <laughs> game, I guess, and just went like, "Okay, let's play the game." Yeah, I mean, they took it personal. They learned from what Twisted Minds had to bring, and I, I again, Twisted Minds, they they cooked something up. Uh, but right now, AP Brin is controlling the whole jungle. Fanny not being able to do too much and this is this is what happens when you try to run something back on a team that always learns and adapt like AP Brin it's just it's something that's hard to do kind of taking a look at some items do you see anything that sticks out to you mm, not really pretty standard builds maybe only like uh 
<laughs> Minotaur doing like this legendary pieces build that I call uh, <laughs> like eight minutes into the game, no items. Same as uh, Martis actually, which is pretty bad in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. And meanwhile, the top lane tier two being pushed as well, as well as a bot lane by CC. And I guess it's going to soon have the... We're gonna have a problem here if we are Twisted Minds. I mean, they're just applying so much pressure. The Minnow Rage coming out. But is it gonna be utilized at all as a wild charge? Connects on a two. And a Violet Requiem comes in and takes out. The, actually, it didn't take out anybody just yet. Put them really, really low. They were able to actually dive and dodge out of there. AP Bryn still looking Fast. to pierce into their base at eight minutes. Yeah, mid lane is going to proc probably. Top lane no passive already, and the mid lane is no passive already. Gonna fall as well, and that's, what? this is the showcase. What you gotta do at this kind of over farm, you just need to get the inhibitors and the CC ult yet again, and the Claude being wow, caught right up there. by the Guinevere. Uh, what was he doing so far up there? Like he's outside I mean, of he, his his base. He thought he's going to pee, TP back. He thought he's, he's going to TP back. <laughs> he definitely got TP back. Sent back to the caster's desk. <laughs> as so did Fanny. Flop TZ able to secure the kill. Looking like AP Brin wanting to take this mid turret, showing insane amounts of aggression. Huff low. They are just not gonna let up. AP Brin took the last match personal. Yeah, and it was trying to take mid lane well inhibitor capable. as well, but just enjoyed the both poking of the mid lane and Whoa. went to straight for Lord to secure, I guess, all of them. Not rushing here is kind of good idea because there is a chance of uh, enemy catching you and make one or two kills and might go for the Lord them th themselves, I mean Twisted Minds, and uh, th this might be a comeback, so in my opinion it's the right decision to not risk it and just go for the Lord. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, they're gonna keep uh, keep their own here. Lord coming down again. It is just such a gold gap at this point. I, I'm not quite sure how they're gonna stop this. As Ooh, the flicker is utilized. Yeah, the, the clean, clean, clean is going to one shot. I think they're just going to attack the base. Or they, the full HP Lord touching your, your crystal is just a little bit too much. Morrow low. AP Brin looking to take that last tower, though. Yeah, not, not rushing at all. They just hit in the front uh, target. This is absolutely the right thing to do. Just, just hit the front target. If you have like 15k gold advantage, your Clint is going to basically one top everyone. Good ultimate attempt from the Maro, but not an us. Double flicker was used to avoid it. The base is going to yes. chunk down, but Fanny trying to do something here with the damage and region and uh, choke a little bit, not flying away to the back of the base ultimate martis goes for the clint not enough damage and just melts uh, with why wouldn't you use the 15k gold advantage right so that's